Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends of Lee County Libraries. I am Miss Corey, and I'm here to bring you one of my all-time favorite story times. It is Fidgety Frogs. In case you didn't know, I love frogs. Oh my goodness, they are the coolest thing ever. <laughs> All right, so here at Lee County Libraries, we're gonna be doing our reading, our writing, our talking, our singing, and our playing. All part of the five pre-literacy skills from every child ready to read at your library. We're gonna start with our hello song, our greeting. So everyone up, and we have our new song this month because it is a new month. Welcome to May. So we're doing our hello song. So we're gonna do hi, hello, and how are you? Hi, hello, and clap your hands, and then hi, hello, and stomp your feet. So here we go, everyone. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Hi, hello, and clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands. How are you today? Hi, hello, and stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Hi, hello, and stomp your feet. How are you today? I hope that you all are lovely. We need to check and see how someone else is doing today. Hmm, who comes to see us every week at story time? That's right, it's our pal, Henry the Hedgehog. Hello, Henry. Are you having a good May so far? You are? Oh, I'm so happy. Henry comes with, to us every week with our letter of the day. Henry is thinking of a letter. I wonder what it could be. He has some clues in here to share with us. <gasps> Let's look closely. Here's our first one. What is that? That's right, it's fire. Oof, it's hot, ouch. Fire, everyone, can you say fire? Fire, what is that letter? That's right, it's the letter F. Does anyone remember how to do the letter F in sign language? Hmm, all right, hold up your hand. You're gonna keep these three spread apart and you're gonna take your thumb and your pointer finger and you're just gonna touch them like this. So it's gonna be like a little circle, and those three are up, so there's our letter F. Excellent job. All right, here is our next clue. It's a fish, a goldfish, actually. Everyone say fish. Hmm, what letter does fish start with? Yes, the letter F. Remember, our thumb and pointer fingers touch, and then the other three stay up. All right, our next clue is four. Show me the four on your fingers. One, two, three, four. Excellent job. And the letter or the word four starts with what letter? That's right, it's our letter F and showing the letter F. And our last clue, it's a football. Correct. All right, football. F -f 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 what letter does football start with? That's right, it's our letter F. So what letter did Henry bring us today? Correct, he brought us our letter F. There's our uppercase F, and here's our lowercase F, and we're gonna practice writing our uppercase F today. So, get out your writing materials, and if you don't have anything, use your magic marker finger with me. But we have to say bye to you, Henry. Bye-bye, we'll see you later. All right, everyone. One, two, three, won't you write your letter with me? Miss Corey has her whiteboard. She's gonna do that first. So, it says that Big F is a tall flower for you. E has three lines, well FF has two. So we're gonna put a dot up at the top. So we're gonna go boop, and we're gonna come straight down. Then we're gonna go back up to the top and we're gonna come across. And then we're gonna go about halfway down and we're gonna make a smaller line across. So just like that. There's our letter F. Do you think we can do that together? 
Excellent. Let's do it together. So, Miss Corn is going to use, mm, I don't know, I think I'm going to do fluorescent yellow. And where we are, boop, come straight down, zoop, go back up to your boop, boop, across, zoop, go back and go about halfway and do a short one. Awesome. Erase it. And use your other hand this time. Here we go. Boop. Straight down. Zoop. Up to your boop. Boop. Across. Zoop. And then halfway down. Boop. And a short one. Zoop. Excellent job. Plug in your beautiful S. Keep practicing your writing every day. And you're going to be ready to go in no time. Let's erase that F. And we're going to get up and do a song. Now, some of these songs, I'm going to tell you, Miss Corey wrote them herself, and I'm so excited to share them with you. So, here is our first song. It goes to the tune of Wheels on the Bus, and it's called The Froggies in the Pond. All right? First, we're going to be the flies. So, the flies are going to do this. And what does a fly sound like? Yeah, it goes zzz, 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 almost like a bee, right? So, we're going to do that sound. Then we're going to be the grass at the pond, and we're going to swish back and forth. So swish, swish, swish. And then we're going to be the froggies at the pond, and we're going to do hop, hop, hop. Awesome. All right. The flies at the pond go bzz, 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 bzz. The flies at the pond go bzz, 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 all day long. Okay, we're the grass. The grass at the pond goes swish, 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 swish. The grass at the pond goes swish, swish, swish all day long. Now our froggies, the froggies at the pond go hop, 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 hop. The froggies at the pond go hop, hop, hop all day long. Excellent job, everyone. You are great froggies. All right, we're going to do our wiggles. So here we go. A wiggle, wiggle here. A wiggle, wiggle there. Wiggle your hands up in the air. Wiggle your shoulders. Wiggle your hips. Wiggle your knees and wiggle your lips. A wiggle, 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 wiggle and wiggle some more. And now let's all sit down on the floor. We are at our first book. I am so excited for this book. I didn't think that we had it, and then I saw it on the shelf, and I was like, oh, I have got to share it. So this book is titled Ribbit. It's written by Rodrigo Folguera, and it's illustrated by Polly Bern Bernatine. So sorry, Miss Polly. So we are gonna read this. Now, is that a frog? Does he go ribbit? What is he? He's a pig. He's supposed to go. <laughs> Let's see why it says ribbit. Okay? Here we go. Ribbit. Once upon a time, there was a pond that was home to a family of frogs. It was their pond, and they were very happy living there. But one morning, they discovered a surprise visitor. Who do you think is there? Oh, maybe. Let's see. It was a pig! A little pink pig sitting on a rock. Hmm. Goodness, said the frogs. Why is there a pig in our pond? They whispered amongst themselves until finally the chief frog spoke up. <clears throat> Good morning. What can we do for you? And to their amazement, the little pig answered. What do you think the pig said? Ribbit. Oh, what did he say? Cried the frogs. This, this pig is confused. Does he think he's a frog? Is he making fun of us? But again, all the little pig said was ribbit. Mm, he has a good ribbit voice. 
was that the little pig, who thought he was a frog, spread fast, and all the animals hurried to the pond to see the visitor. This new relative of yours is a little pink, said the raccoon. He's no relation of ours, declared the frogs. He certainly sounds like a frog, said the weasel. Why would a pig want to be a frog, said the parrot. And what's wrong with being a frog, may we ask, exclaimed the frogs. Everyone started shouting at each other, completely ignoring the little pig, who just sat there practicing his rabbit. The animals laughed and laughed, and the frogs got angrier and angrier, until finally the chief frog shouted, Stop! We're not getting anywhere by fighting. We must go and find the wise old beetle. He'll know what to do. The wise old beetle, gasped the animals, but he hates to be disturbed. I know, said the chief frog, but this is very serious. That's true, the animals agreed, and off they went. And the little pig said, Ribbit! The animals found the wise old beetle and tried to explain the problem. It was hard for him to understand because they were all talking at once in the end. He agreed to just go with them to the pond. But when they arrived, Bugs, 
yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one little speckled frog, glub, glub. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs, yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no little speckled frogs, glub, glub. Good job with your counting, everyone. All right, we've got another song to do. And this is called, I'm a Little Froggy. It's like, I'm a little teapot. So it's, I'm a little froggy, small and slimy. Here it, or these are my eyes and this is my tummy. When I see the flies swarm, my tummy gets hungry. Out pops my tongue and then yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, let's do that. We'll do it twice. How about that? I'm a little froggy, small and slimy. These are my eyes and this is my tummy. When I see the fly swarm, my tummy gets hungry. Out pops my tongue and then yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, one more time. I'm a little froggy, small and slimy. These are my eyes and this is my tummy. When I see the flies buzz, my tummy gets hungry. Out pops my tongue, then yummy, yummy, yummy. Excellent, good job everyone. All right, well, we are up to our second book, so let's go ahead and have a seat. And our second story today is called Bee Frog. It's written by Martin Waddell and illustrated by Barbara Firth. Bee Frog. Here we go. There once was a frog, a very small frog named Bee Frog. Bee played all day with her sisters and brothers. They played cat catch me, frog. They played frog hop and frog plop. And I'm not a frog, I'm a dragon. Then Mom Frog called them in. I'm Bee Frog the Dragon, Bee told Mom Frog. Yes, Bee, that's nice, croaked Mom Frog. I'm not nice, I'm a dragon, croaked Bee. Yes, dear, I see, croaked Mom Frog. I'm Bee Dragon, Bee told Dad Frog. Be quiet, Bee, croaked Dad Frog. I'm a very fierce dragon, croaked Bee. So I see, said Dad Frog, without looking at Bee once. I'm Bee Dragon, Bee told Grandma Frog, but Grandma Frog was fast asleep on her lily, and she didn't hear Bee. No one listens to me, croaked Bee Frog. I'm hopping off, croaked Bee Frog. I'm hopping off and I'm not coming back. Not ever, not never. Hop, 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 hop. Hop, hop, hop. Bee Frog landed on a dark stone with reeds all around. This is good, thought Bee Frog. I like it, thought Bee. I love it, thought Bee. And she made dragon noises all by herself. Can you make a dragon noise? Rawr! Awesome. I'm Bee Dragon, thought Bee. I'm Bee Dragon, the really fierce dragon, thought Bee. Everyone's scared of Bee Dragon, thought Bee. Then, hmm. I wonder if dragons get lonely, she thought. Mom and Dad Frog came looking for Bee. Bee Dragon, Bee Dragon, they croaked. Bee sat very still, sit still, until they were almost beside her. And then, croak! Bee ambushed her mommy and daddy. We found you, Bee Dragon, croaked Mom. 
mom and dad frog, I'm not really a dragon, croaked bee. Well, croaked mom frog, you look like a very fierce dragon to me, said dad frog. I'm not, I'm your bee, croaked bee frog. And they all hopped off home for frog tea. The end. Oh, I like that the family had a chance to play together. What a good, fun book. All right, everyone. This takes us to the end of our story time this week. We're going to do our Zoom, Zoom, Zoom song and then our goodbye song. So everyone up. And we're going to go slow. Here we go. Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there really soon. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. All right, we'll go a little faster. Here we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there really soon. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Excellent. All right, can you go super fast? Let's try. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there really soon. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Woo, good job, everyone. All right, so it's time for our goodbye song and we're gonna clap and say goodbye. We're gonna stomp and say goodbye. We're gonna smile and say goodbye. And we're gonna wave and say goodbye. Here we go. We clap and say goodbye. We clap and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and say goodbye. We stomp and say goodbye. We stomp and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we stomp and say goodbye. We smile and say goodbye. We smile and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we smile and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and say goodbye. I'll see you next week, everyone. Bye for now.